Imagine that. Imagine that. Small mouth. Imagine that. No matter where you go, you're going to catch one of these. <laughs> I've been up in here. It's like uh -oh. floating away. Yeah. Oh, maybe me too. I'm getting nibbles. Oh, mm -hmm. couple of them. Look at those. These are crispy fly boats. Oh. Tiny yellow birch. This one's got legs. 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 That's a nice bluegill, though. I haven't seen one of those in years. I bet you swallowed the crap out of that tiny hook. It's been down there forever. It's a nice bluegill. I mean, respectable. Stand for him whole. I might have to. Mm, almost crap. Almost crap it out, probably. stripy tail. Cool. All right, back in the water, buddy. Little oh, no, nose, mama. Just leave her there. Here we go. Pick 
there. Woo! Jumped in the boat. First starch mouth of the day? That was that makes goal oh, right cool, there. Cool. Yep. Multi species day. We caught a lot <laughs> of species. Not the biggest, but a lot. <laughs> They're gonna be mad at me. There you go. Gonna have to do it. Every week, three to seven times a week. Monkey business to me. 
definitely some monkey business going on back there. It'd be really easy if we were in a losing shot. I don't know how I'm going to shake off. Oh, they're going to shake off. That sucks. I know. It's just, you can't catch them down there. So I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, there's a... <laughs> more, 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 more. That's it. You have to spread her wide. A... Ready? Last time I had a little, my crawdad bucket had it tied to me. It's just so easy, just dump them right in. Make it rain. shortcut you know try to make the house faster and you don't you know you forget to break something off or you forget to share a wall or you forget to level something out you would never forget and then you step on close. something like that that's what's gotten me hurt over the years you know what i mean you step on something that ain't nailed right and it falls <laughs> yeah. apart on you, under your feet you better not do that and when a house gets that big there's that many more chances for a mistake you know what i mean Every corner, every step, we were down below with you. <laughs> yeah, it is closed. We know and, that now. Well, anyway, <laughs> we were down probably a couple of miles or so. And then his dad, Cass, and he tripped in a, a night crawler, which is legal back then. Mm -hmm. You know, he tripped a night crawler and he hooks up into like an 18 inch brown trout. And the brown trout is just ripping line off his reel for a little bit. And then he gets it under control, but then he only can do it by walking downstream with the fish. And the fish starts backing into the trees. The, you know, in the logs in the river. And it got stuck in the logs in the river. It it ran out fish. there on the point. You jumped in the <laughs> I climbed out on the log out there. I climbed <laughs> all the way out there over the water. This water's going. I'm going like.